Hey, it's Chief Body with Board Games, and we're going to unbox a white whale. What? What? Peloponnesian War and 431 to 404 BC. But why white whale? Mark Herman's solitaire game that had previously come out, what? I don't know, 86, 87, I don't know exactly, with victory games. At the time, I was a strictly solitaire player. I lived up in the mountains of Colorado, a little town called Evergreen, but I was mostly focused on World War II um, and things maybe a little bit more. I even tried to solo some two-player games, but I'd seen this and I was like, no, nah, I'm not really into anything from the ancients. Here's what's neat about this. As a solitaire game, you play one side, and if you're doing too well, Boom, it flips you to the other side, and you have to then play it, and it can bounce back and forth. So you're you're playing against a system, but if you're doing too good, you're also kind of playing against yourself because it whoop flops. It flops. All right, we'll go in. That's intriguing in and of itself. And uh and I went to get this later, white whale-wise, and I couldn't find it, or or if I did, it was out of my price range. But GMT has it back. Hello. Hello. I will get a review. I've got a review going on on the table over here and my uh, CC Medieval. I just got all the stickers on. Whoo, that was a project in and of itself. But enough of that. Let's go look at this. Let's go and shrink. So beautiful new cover art up a little closer as I bump the camera and make you feel like you're at sea. We'll come around here. You can see the map. We're going to be looking at that a little closer. Counters. Beautiful detail here uh, that goes into what makes uh, the Peloponnesian War as a solitaire system work. And when we get into the review, we'll look at that as well. So you can see solitaire uh, suitability. Woo! Way up high. I dig it. All right. Let me pull the shrink. All right. Come on, hefty box, as always, GMT style, very nice. So again, yeah, yep, he's like, whoa, we got a problem. So, but maybe they can rip all those oars off, who knows. All right, the rule book, let me see if I can keep her down here. So it's not glossy, but it's the uh, quality, there we go, full color quality you expect and know from GMT. Um, look at this, important. I like this under leaders. Hopefully that's coming in good. All right, we're not going to just flip every page. This is what I'm loving, folks. When I see it, I will point it out. The splash page, the comic book splash page. Everything as it would look on your table or kind of being explained out on the margins. That alone, for me... Maybe not for you. Makes learning a game so much more easier. So much more easier. Just makes it easier. I get into the setup and I can start um, fiddling and even playing around with the rules slowly. As uh, I am a slow game learner. I'm just going to tell you that. It's another reason why I don't get out as many views. Or many views? That too. As many reviews. All right. And a playbook. I think most people are familiar with GMT, um, but if you're not, they do playbooks that will come in and even walk you through turns, or they'll uh, include scenarios. But uh, I haven't seen this one, but yeah, the Fall of Athens, set up Athens non-player side, event table, and... The other thing I love is little historical notes. So again, I won't flip through this whole thing, but let's just, yep, you got some strategy information back here. Hey, look at strategy background. Look at all this. Look at all this. Love it. Uh, what are we looking at? 48 pages in the playbook. So, stuff about the second edition. All right. I'll look at that later. Other thing GMT does super, super well is player aids, post-combat movement table, 
Here's a player aid, a thicker cardstock, glossy feel. Victory point record sheet. Well, you can kind of judge yourself how you're doing as you go through game after game. Here's our counters. Ooh, now this is interesting. The Spartan Strategy Matrix. First of all, I just like the way that sounds, and I love the red. This is very thick, like chipboard, chipboard. That's got this little deal here, and then the Athenian Strategy Matrix. Look at that. Same deal. Glossy cover. I like that. Obviously, your, your counters are on here, and you're probably pushing and pulling, from what I remember, as you fight against yourself. Very Greek tragedy-ish. Ooh, look at that. That's different. All right, we'll get the board out in a second here. Let me see here. We got some dice in a little bag. All right, green, red. Extra bags, always nice. Some of the cover art put down in here in a tray. I know there's nothing underneath, but I always got to look. You never know. I think that's what Legacy Games did to me. All right, let me get the map out of the bag. All right, now this is going to be huge. All right, maybe a lot of people haven't seen it, but stand back while I whip this out. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me see. Come on. And, wow. Like Tetris. All right. Whoop, hit, whoa, hitting the camera and everything. Look at that. That's professionalism, folks. That's what you get. <laughs> All right, let me pan. We're going to tilt and pan. So, it's still starting to sit flat. Wow, it's got like a, uh, feels like a linen finish. We'll zoom in on that in a second. But, a little breakout of Sicily. Is this going home box? Okay. We can actually slide the map here. Come on up again. All these little pathways in between. Very interesting. All right. Zoomed in so you can get a feel. I'm not sure. It's... It does have like that linen, see if it'll show up, the linen finish. It's got little ridges in it, but it's, it's just a little texture. I don't know if I would call it a linen finish, but that's kind of what it feels like. Sorry, as I move, let me drop this back down. That's it. All right, this one is going to be back a little bit. I want to get in and start playing it now, but I really have got one on the table. I've got to finish and... <laughs> And I'm not kidding, I just finished the other day stickering my uh, Command & Colors uh, Medieval, and I want to get that played too. But we'll get it done. A lot of stuff going on, uh, non-board game related in my house, but trust me, I, uh, I will get this reviewed, not just unboxed.